Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Settlement Survival. Now, this is a sponsored series where all throughout the week I'm building a brand new settlement to celebrate the game's 1.0 launch over on Steam. Now, if you want to check out the game for yourself, please do consider clicking the link in the top comment and the description of the video, and it'll take you to the Steam page so you can find more information about the game and to the playlist of videos so you can catch the previous episodes if you've missed them. So, catching up on what we've been doing, last episode was a bit of a disaster, uh... Learned a lot of lessons uh, the hard way. We had our first death, people are freezing to death, houses are falling apart, their clothes are literally falling off of their backs, people don't even have shoes, for God's sake. So, I had a good long look in the mirror and asked myself, is this the kind of leader I want to be? Where people are walking around barefoot and freezing? And to some extent that can be a fun playthrough, but uh, no, that's not really what I want to have happen. So I had a look around at how can we solve these different issues. I've really tried to focus up and pay attention. Can I pull myself out of this decline that we're kind of spiraling into? And I think so. So we'll see how it all goes. So let me walk you through some of the stuff I've kind of looked at and learned. So basically, our first main issue was with household goods, domestic fuel. People were cold the last winter. They're burning through way more domestic fuel than I'm producing. So annual consumption is 258. Annual production is 220. That's why the number is red. The number is red also for water and for food. So that's alarming, right? It means that we're spiraling down out of control. The water is basically evaporating before our very eyes. And um, we know that we're heading in a bad direction, especially with more immigrants on the way. If we want to accept those in, which we do, we're just not going to be able to sustain even feeding, watering, or fueling them, right? So kind of alarming. So basically, I had a quick look around. We've got two sawmills. There's a sawmill here and here. These are the two different buildings. You just flip between the two of them. And then we also have a third sawmill, which is this one out here. This is our greater efficient sawmill. It's a water-powered sawmill. So this is the one I really want to make sure is always ticking over, producing that domestic fuel. And of course, we can change it to make planks in the future if we want to, but we have planks right now, so we're good. Now, this can hold three jobs. Three woodcutters can work in here, so we're just going to keep them going. But they have a lack of raw materials. If we check here, we only have four timber. So they're just the, the raw timber that we need to feed our sawmill with to cut it up and make into domestic fuel. We're just not providing enough. So I put down extra sawmills to try and solve this problem, but we just don't have enough of the raw material to actually keep them all running. So I'm going to actually turn this one off and even reduce down a job here. Now, I don't know if that's overkill or not, but that's five people working on a sawmill trying to make fuel for us. I'll know once timber starts to climb again that we have enough to now power on maybe more people, put more jobs in there. So... Let's just see if that balances out kind of a consistent um, production of domestic fuel. So that's fuel. That's my plan for fuel. It's like a five-step program that I've got going on here. A five-year plan on how I can turn this economy around. Because we just got done with the year five. Or we're in year five now. Uh, tools was an issue in the last episode, which we solved. That was okay. Shoes still figured out something about that. I'll get to in a moment. Same with clothing, actually. The next thing up would be water. So we can see that water is just spiraling down. Like I said, we're about to run out. So I had a look in the tech tree. In the science category, we've got one tech point right now. We can get a reservoir. It says that it can produce a large amount of water. It requires sand, clay, and stone. So I'll just activate that right now. That spends our only available tech point. We're close to getting another one, though. And we can place down a reservoir. So a reservoir, other than building it, will just operate like a well. It takes two people, and it just produces double the amount of water than a well does. But the initial build requires that sand. So I was thinking of just placing it right here next to the bridge, stacking a few of these together. Hopefully it doesn't upset the fishery or anything. But right now the fishery is offline anyway, so I don't care. I can move these things if I really need to in the future. But we're just going to place it right here to keep it kind of close by to where people can get different things and store up different things. Now, that's going to require sand. So in here, we have a sand pit, but it's currently dredging up clay. We're going to change that now to sand, obviously, because we actually have zero sand in reserve. But clay, we have 39. So we should be able to build this. It takes 30 clay, 30 sand, and 40 stone. We have 87 stone, so we're okay there. So we'll change it to sand, put on an extra person in here, and get Abbott and Dawn dredging away as much sand as they can possibly make so that we can get this building up and running as fast as possible. We really, really, really need that. Um, as soon as possible, really, because we're about to enter into winter. People are going to be working less efficiently during winter, and it's going to be difficult because they're going to be constantly going home to heat themselves up because they got no shoes and their clothes are about to fall off their backs. In fact, I think that's just about to happen any second now because they're on 1% for garments um, for satisfaction with that. 
So that's the second thing. Shoes is the final thing, which is a bit ahead of time right now, but basically, we'll get to it later, I mean. Inside of here is where you get... So I was wondering in the last episode, how the hell do we make shoes? I've been wondering since the first episode. Reading through all the tooltips and everything, it said that it was made in the tailor, but that's not true. Turns out it's actually made in the uh, knitting workshop. So the knitting workshop is here. So you have to get knitting. You get the knitting workshop, and it says it can process reeds into flax and ropes and fishnets for other things later down the line. But it also makes straw shoes, which is what I was looking for. So this is what we're definitely going to get as soon as we get another tech point. And it makes sense because I was looking at leather for leather shoes. It's, it does make sense where it is. It's just one of the tooltips is a little off about where, it, where you get that. I think it used to be in a different building, and that's why. Um, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll just let time play. I'll just build that road back up. Let time play. Slow it down a bit. And tell them also to harvest some trees and gather all, really, of just things that are kind of in our immediate vicinity. Um, because I don't want them going too far, especially not during kind of winter and stuff as we're getting close to it. So just grab everything that's around here for now. And actually stop gathering out here. You don't need to do that anymore. So my plan is to sort of get all this stuff. Then also we've got two free laborers right now. Just going to increase the amount of builders we have. Sort of temporarily and just go with getting a stone road that leads from here out to here. So stone road gives you 50% movement speed, whereas a dirt road, which is what we currently have, gives you... 25%, so it's a big increase. Also, as you may notice, there's been an update. We've got little uh, pumpkins on different houses now for Halloween. You can actually see some kids going around looking for like candy and stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'm guessing they update the game really frequently. I'm guessing just for these kind of couple of weeks around surrounding Halloween and the end of October, there's just a nice little kind of festive little update. Is festive the right word for something that isn't Christmas? Yeah, right? Any festival, I guess. Makes sense. You know what I'm saying. Um, okay, so those are, that's you know those are my cards. I've laid them out on the table. We'll see if we can survive and have not many more people die, because um, it is imperative that that goes it goes well. Otherwise, we're just going to go into a death spiral where everything kind of runs out. So while time is playing, speed it up just a little bit. I found out that I've been saying, oh, I built a tailor and I can't even make rough clothes, but we can. And actually, we've just seen it here. Fifty-four citizens now need clothes, um, so we can make rough clothes and we can actually turn this building on. In fact, let's do it. We'll turn it on right now and put someone in there. So I'll take one of the builders off. Actually, no, I'm going to be kind of indecisive. We're going to put that back down to just two builders, put two people in here because we can make these clothes. We have 500 leather in reserve. Now, I think that you start the game with a little bit, but we've also been getting some from our hunting. Uh, hunting here says leather last year was 35. Um, so great, you know, we're actually gaining up leather. We haven't been consuming it So we can at the very least make some rough clothes and once we're done with that We'll build that knitting workshop and make some straw shoes as well. Finally keep our people shoes I think speeds you up a little bit clothes. I think keeps you warm um, And then you can get warm clothes later on for to really battle the winter months, especially we do have a temperature gauge up here at 7 degrees Celsius right now um so it's obviously a pretty big factor in terms of how people are clothed. You know, at 7 degrees, if you've got no... 54 people aren't wearing anything. <laughs> um, they're going to be a little chilly. New tech points acquired. That was pretty quick. Yeah, so we'll get that knitting now, actually. Knitting workshop. Don't need to build it right away. This is really the priority and the focus for all building. But they can do the road while we're waiting for the sand to come in over there. They've actually delivered already. Stone, clay, all good. Now, something else I'd actually noticed... Just really quickly, want to turn off ore, gold sand. Because we have been making gold, just very, very slightly. Gold sand produced last year, too, from our quarry. And I'm guessing that's because we're on that little point there that says you get an extra gold output from a quarry in an open mine, whereas a quarry normally is supposed to just make stone. So we're getting a little bit of gold, which is nice. Which I'm guessing you can use for trade and stuff later on. I'm not too sure. I know silver is really big with trade, so gold, I'm sure, is just kind of another commodity. All right, people are already getting cold. It's September, and they're going home to take a little break. So what you'll see is people will walk inside. They'll consume some domestic fuel kind of over time, and then they'll come out regenerating stamina and regenerating warmth. So they obviously just went home to get some warmth. They'll stay a little longer to get their stamina back, and I think they have to go to their own house to get stamina, whereas they can go to other people's houses to get warmth. As long as it's not too overcrowded, I think. Uh, we've got a little bit of city stress as well right now, which prevents, uh, lowers fertility effectively. And then we've got his backpack. So he's got six sand on him. Um, 
So in testing some things out, this guy has 12 sand, the other one has 7. What you can do is, if they, they, they'll hold what they have for quite a long time, I feel like, sometimes. And if you're really, excuse me, in desperate need of something, you can take them off the job, and then they usually distribute it pretty close by. Um, so I'm actually going to tell them... Sorry to be so min-maxy with this, but I feel like I just have to be initially here. Looking for... I guess you could just type it, actually. Sand. Yeah, so let's just tell them not to store sand in there. And not to store it here. Just don't want them, for some reason, going further than they have to. They usually don't, but they might do it in the center of town. So they should just do it here now. When they are ready to drop it off. Alright, good. So that's uh, those are my cards on the table, and we'll see if everything goes okay. So this is our knitting workshop. We'll probably put it at the back here, or maybe over here. Um, I suppose no harm in just laying it out while we're waiting for things and just pause it. And then the other thing would be getting some extra houses. So there are immigrants on the way. Just get rid of that. It's rotated the wrong way. I want to put it that way around. There we go. And we'll just pause these. Don't need to be built immediately. It's just for the future. Might also get rid of this road. Just fit another house in there. Yep, so that one's not going to go there, but we could go here. And maybe this repair shop could actually go there instead. That would might make more sense. Yeah, in the future. So yeah, we'll just do this. Boom. Tell them to get a road out there at some point. Yeah, and the repair shop could fit there. The reason I want to do that is because the market obviously should have the how, as many houses as we can have in its influence. We could always just build another market though eventually. No big deal. So I'm just going to pause these. They don't need to be built. And then we'll let time resume. Just to kind of get the general layout of where things are going to go. We also then have the veggie hut. It's like a pizza hut. And then uh, butchers as well. Veggie hut. Alright, let's just speed up time then and see how this all goes. That's my plan. Let's see if we can survive. I'm gonna keep an eye on that fuel and then keep an eye on the water. So they've delivered the main things they need for this, just I gotta bring over that sand. It won't tell you how much you produced last year until people actually drop it off. So right now it says the reserves are zero. But they're in there. They're working away. He's got six on his back, and then he's just getting cold right now, so warmth all the way down to zero, and then he leaves and he's like, Oh my god, I'm freezing. Gotta go home. Or to a nearby home. He's got 12 sand on his back, goes in there, warms up, comes back out. So you can just see, it just like lowers efficiency, right? They can't work their buildings too often if... Uh... I wonder then, would having a house somewhere out by here, you know, be a, a solution to that? Sort of like a fire pit. In like Frostpunk or something. Um, so the other thing I'm planning on doing to, to really bring up our timber reserves to allow our sawmills to produce the correct amount of fuel is to just start hacking away at the map. Like basically getting rid of all these trees. But I don't want to do that until we effectively get to about January and then I'll put the order in. Because then they'll be able to go a little further and the temperature will be getting a bit better and then we'll just slowly work our way back in throughout the year. Um, but meanwhile, while it's winter, I only want to be cutting around this area because this is close by and it's not too big of a deal. Uh, to go just that far to get certain things. So we've got people with broken limbs, just sprained ankles, that kind of thing. People are cold. Uh, another person has died, actually. Oh my god, Ethel the farmer has been murdered. Increased citizens' happiness, oh shit. I wonder did it go below 50, because it says criminals may emerge below 50. We're on 59 right now. Obviously they don't have clothes or shoes, so that's why they're unhappy. Damn. Oh, there's another person who's dead. Oh, Justin the water fetcher had frozen to death? Why though? You could have just went home. We've got fuel. Damn. That's two deaths. That's not good. Obviously. What the hell is this symbol as well? The yield from fields increases by 30% in harvest years. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, we need another person in here then. So, what can we do? Take someone off farming? That sounds reasonable, right? Can't see any problems with that. Um, maybe I'll take a builder away. Get Drew in there. Alright, this year we made 36 sand. So that's good. So can we take, this, take them off the job now? 
So I'd like to do that. And then they'll just have to dump their stuff if they haven't already. And then we'll get building that. And then we'll put them on something else. So yeah, maybe um, get someone else back on that farm. Get another builder. Alright. Boohoo, no candies. You're not... I mean, you shouldn't be worried about getting candy. You should be worried about eating. Anything. <laughs> someone slap some sense into these kids. Oh, I don't have any candy. You're lucky you get anything. Anything. <laughs> we'll be eating the reeds soon enough. Okay, we're actually starting to solve the clothing problem as well. Clothes are down to just 36 people without them. And they had made a bunch in that in that place already. We've made 32, so that's good. Starting to see a little progress there. Hey, we got a new laborer, fresh laborer. See, so yeah, I open this back up again, I guess. Get one more person back on it. And nice, we got some of that stone road placed down. Yeah, let's just continue to get more of the stone road done out this way. One citizens are freezing. 37 people without clothes. Zero in reserves. Two people are... So this person has an, a sprained ankle that's working in there, and the other person is trying to get warm. Terrible. Not blaming them. Just saying it's such an unfortunate time to be doing that when people need the clothes. It's such a, a spiraling effect, right? Where it's like, oh, we're not producing enough clothes, but the people who are making the clothes are like, oh, I don't have any clothes, so I'm cold. <laughs> so they don't work the clothes as often. Difficult. Do have a lot of reeds. Maybe we could um, ease up on this building for a bit as well to free up that person. Fuel seems to be okay though. We're actually climbing, barely, but we are climbing with fuel. And we're in February now. So what I'm going to do is say out here, gather all. Because we want to gather all the food we can as well. And just gather literally everything here for this part of the map. So when people head out there, um, the weather's only going to be getting better and better. So they should be able to sustain it. The temperature's going to be rising. It's three degrees. We're on 10, 10 times speed right now. We can see a bunch of people heading out. God damn. I'm surprised there's only one free laborer. This many people are free to do that. I guess it's farmers and the like that have nothing else to do. Yeah, so the people who are freezing are just going to come home pretty much immediately. That's okay. But the weather's going to be getting better all the time. And they should be able to pick up clothes as soon as they get dropped off as well. Yeah, she's got 10 clothes on her right now. We're making... Got some sand in reserve. And the water is done. Alright, so Renee is in there. Getting us some water as we have run out completely. People are now a little thirsty. Did anyone die? Anyone else die? No one else has died. That's alright. One murder. Two people are froze today. I can't be blamed for the murder, surely. Indirectly, I guess. Uh, where are those immigrants? They should be here any moment. So we should see them come in and we can start telling them they can get their houses. But they're gonna have to go out and get all that wood. You're building your own house. Good, so as soon as we get there... Oh, there's the merchant, by the way. I mean, I probably should have had something up and running for him for quite a long time. Maybe we could be trading, getting all the stuff we're short on, but... Nah, it's fine. We'll make our own way. We always have. Alright, carrying a bunch of water back as well to their house. Good. Yeah, so that's the other thing to remember. When you're at zero on the UI, that's one thing. But we are storing water in the houses, so... There is a little bit of a fallback. Uh, for a little while, at least. There we go. The immigrants have arrived. Excellent. So then we can also get the knitting workshop up and running when they get here. So we can let this be built now. Same with the processing plant and a few other things. So yeah, the town is developing. I'll accept 11 immigrants, please. Oh my god. I think they have plague. There's two symbols I haven't seen before. So plague, how do we deal with plague? Uh, health bonuses, tool quality, logistic, Medicare, build medical facilities to cure six facilities, consume household products to provide a higher health bonus, build sanitation facilities to maintain hygienic conditions. Hmm, it did say something about, oh yeah, sorry, there it is. 
The plague will spread to a large area and easily cause a large number of deaths if, he if health level is too low. A plague will break out. Ugh, goddamn. Well, health is 60%. Increased citizen fracture and sprain probability. So we need sanitation buildings. I guess we'll have to work on that. And logistical equipment. Logistics equipment. Oh, backpacks and stuff. Yeah. We're about to get baskets, actually. We should be able to do that with the knitting workshop, I think. All right, we just have to put up, you know, people are going to die in these initial years, I guess. <laughs> They're in there now, trying to get better. Treatment for plague. Sickborn measles. That looks like is what they have. Unlocked in technology, livability, hospital. I'm not going to be able to get that. Hospital's way far down. To treat measles? Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's no way. Waterborne diseases we can treat, though, with a herbalist hut. But they don't have that. They have me they have measles. Well, what can you do? You know? Two citizens got affected with plague. What can you do? Nothing, I say. Uh well anyway, we're chopping out here. Good to see. Are we gathering everything we should be? Let's gather those things as well, please. To gather all command. Yeah. Wanna make sure we bring everything back because food is getting low. So we got twelve laborers out there doing that. It's gonna slow down time just a tad. And see. So six sand, we need way more than that. We'll get the person back on reeds. Actually, we've got plenty of reeds, we're fine. Wait for this building to get done, then we'll let this one get done. Maybe increase the amount of builders. And then we'll have to give them new houses and stuff. I'm worried most about water, because we've just taken on extra people when water was already basically out. So we've increased the production, which is great, but we've just taken on more consumption. Stone is going to be low as well, so let's just get more people in there. Phyllis. So that's 10 laborers free to do other things. Got a second person working on that water. I thought we already had that. Yeah, oh, three people have plague. Please don't spread any further. Maybe there's a chance to get cured. Hey! Dennis, a laborer, has died of thirst. I think he also had plague, though, in fairness. <laughs> if you look at the bright side. <laughs> because we had three, now it's down to two. Alright. Kids are out there just playing around. Elsa. Gordon. No idea the dire circumstances we're all in. Look at everyone, so thirsty. How's the harvest going? It's going well, at least. We're pulling in some extra timber. Fuel has come up quite a bit now, so that's good. All right, we're on top of that. I'm seeing green numbers for the first time, like, ever. Not in the two that are most important, though. So again, how much sand do we have? 31. So switch now to clay. Get another person on here. And we'll start building the next reservoir, because we need another one. So, resources, reservoir. I don't think there's any problem building them next to each other, right? Seems fine. Just extend that road out. So, they should be able to deliver the sand, not quite the stone or the clay just yet. That'll, that'll take a while. They need stone and iron ore and timber for the veggie hut. And then, again, more stone and timber for the butcher. So much material is required. So once this area is done being chopped, we then go for the next tier over. Let people keep working on that. So Barbara died of measles without timely treatments. Unfortunately, you were just, I mean, it's just the time, the time of year, you know, or the, the year it is. We do not possess the technology to treat that. And it was impossible to do it, okay? Just remember that. That stone road, by the way, is pretty good. The speed, once they get onto it, like boom, <laughs> it's like a highway. And we'll start giving these people shoes soon enough. Oh yeah, speaking of, actually, here we go. So, straw shoes or baskets. We'll go with shoes first. That speeds up uh, movement, gets people happier as well, and then we'll give them baskets to improve their health and their quality of life. Citizens have no tools. Uh, we can get some tools again, just even a few. Let's get one person working on iron ore and timber. Good. So we still have five adults now, so three and three is still working in there. That's okay. Farming away, doing their things. 
Alright, I think I've kind of corrected the ship. I mean, people are dying all over the place. Five in total now, probably going to be six at the very least. We've got one more person with plague. A few houses need to be built also. And they need stone and stuff, so I'm just kind of waiting on that to be done. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll let the houses go in next. Two houses can be built now, please. So that's going to be 40 timber. And what was it, 20 stone? Oh no, it's only 10 stone and 10 iron, so that's not too bad. Stone reserves are low. I know, we've got two people, three people in there working it. Oh, we've just had a lot of people become children. Graduated from school. Oh, sorry, be excuse me again. Become laborers. Yeah, let's get in there. Help with the stone situation. Is this good? We're starting to get a workforce on everything now. This is good. Feeling a bit more positive, just slightly. Yeah, maybe an additional build. We've got four builders. That's okay. We can maybe now increase... No, we don't do that yet. We'll just leave them as laborers. We've got more to chop. They are taking a while to gather these things. Don't know why. It's like they go for the trees first, I guess. Alright, cool. Let's just speed up time. Reva, people are graduating from school all over the place. Excellent. Good stuff. Gotta keep an eye on that. I really don't look at the bottom left outliner enough. Um... But yeah, we're getting people all the time, and they're just going to help with everything. So it's good. Things are looking good. Water is kind of climbing. You know, it's obviously fighting itself. It's kind of getting better. We need to get that second reservoir built. And then we can actually get rid of this, put these people on that one if we wanted to. And just keep focusing on reservoirs for a lot of water, basically. It's an interesting kind of mechanic, because we could be using extra fisheries. We could do other things. Uh, speaking of, our food is very low. So let's get the fishery back online. Two people, I think, would be good to get on that. Little additional food, keep us going for a while. So that's three available laborers right now. Eleven people are currently in school. Fourteen kids are not in school. They're obviously a bit too young. Forty-two working adults. That's good. Plague is gone. A little bit of a shortfall for housing. Probably need one additional house. And we're just low on stone. Just wait. A stone does seem to come in at a very slow rate. Like, the amount of people you need on it. They have basic tools, at least. So, that's something. Uh, one birth occurred last season. July has just arrived. Woodrow is a place Channing is a doctor. The doctor died of measles without timely treatment. Okay. We have 6 out of 18 tombstones. I think when this fills up, you can just delete it and build another one. I think that's... How you kind of clear it out eventually. I think. Uh, okay, this area is basically done. People are gathering, but slowly now. So, yep, we're now in July. So, now at least every bit of gathering is going to go quicker and quicker and quicker each time. So, we'll just do another gather all. Start about here. Go up that way. Good. And that is really just to sustain the d rapid, the crazy demand for timber that we have. Although fuel is piling up, so we should be able to make it through the winter, I think, even this year. But the additional houses, it's always a little bit more. At least we're fishing now as well, which is good. So, city stress. Let's have a little bit of a recap. How are things? So, fertility has gone down to 92% because of health and happiness. 78% on happiness. People still don't have their shoes. We are making shoes. I'm guessing this person has some on them. Yeah, they got 10 shoes. That's good. So, we only need about 60 in total. So we're finally making some stuff. Straw shoes. Ten reeds are needed to make five straw shoes. Okay. And then we're making clothes all the time as well out of that leather. We can probably stop that soon. People seem to have their clothes. We have 69 clothes in storage. Don't think that counts on what people actually are wearing. So maybe we could turn this off now. Just leave it alone. Or could we produce something else? Oh yeah, the backpacks. So that requires cotton cloth, pumpkin heads, flax, and pumpkins to make pumpkin heads. Don't know what they get, what they do. Let's just turn this off then. I don't think we need it. I'm gonna min-max my people a bit more. So we'll get more, one more person out on the mine. And yeah, just leave people to keep gathering stuff out here. Soon we want to get pastures and things like that. And I'm really enjoying it. Once. I You've noticed this with me with other games when I'm playing them. Sometimes they can be like, oh man, it's a little easy or whatever. But as soon as the game gets challenging, it gets so much more interesting. So I'm really enjoying this now. Oh, we'll be making tools also. So how many do we have now? 11 in reserve. 
So again, we could just maybe throttle this offline for a little while. Put people on other things. It would be nice to start trying to build some of these other things. So really, yeah, maybe actually get some more iron. We're quite... No, we've got 100, actually. That's okay. More stone, then. Stone seems to be a big problem. Keeping four laborers all the time to just keep heading out here. Chopping away. It's getting to August, so once we get to about here, this is when winter's probably going to kick in. And we're only short one house for four people, I think. Not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six in total deaths. No more signs of immigrants or anything for a while, so yeah, I think we're we're good to just keep procreating ourselves now. I can't get over just how much timber we use. And we just absolutely drained this area. And then we have the forester hut here that's basically planted things already, so we're just going to chop everything down manually there and then tell them to replant and then rotate them around, I guess. So another birth, August, now September. Still just the four laborers. How's stone? Stone is creeping up a little bit. Yeah, so just temporarily before the end of the year. It's going to take the quarry offline. As much as stone is really important for us. We have delivered everything we need for the reservoir. We've delivered everything we need for the house. So I just want everyone to come back out here now and help gather as much of this stuff as possible. Bring it all in. And then we'll just let it regrow. It does seem to regrow, just albeit slowly. Alrighty. Yeah, let's just speed up time then. It seems to be okay. So just watch everyone kind of move out this way. Get chopping. Get that final house built. We've got four builders. The house was the priority, so that's done now. They've got their water, broccoli, squash. It's as good as it gets, really, in our place for food. For the time being. And then the next ones are going to be saving up for the vegetable processing plant and the butcher. And that should hopefully... I mean, it gives better quality food, but I don't know, does it does it yield more? A structure cable to process vegetables into veggie salad. So let me just have a look. Let's see if we can find out more about the item itself. Veggie salad. Simple food made from vegetables in veg processing plant with low fillingness. Well, I would have to imagine it's better than raw food, right? It's probably like a simple food. Veggie salad looks like that. This ham, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. Let's just check raw food. I mean, veggie salad would be kind of raw. It's not like you're cooking it, but you are kind of making it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not reckoning. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it's right there. Yeah, so, I mean, if it becomes a simple food, I would have to imagine it's better. Uh, and then what happens at the butcher, specifically? Various meats into meat chop. Meat chop. Food processed from various meats can be used to make cured meat at the curing workshop. It's a kind of raw food. Oh, so it is still a raw food, but then it can be refined into something else. So I guess the veggie thing is probably priority first. Maybe when we get the curing up, those two buildings can work in tandem with each other. It's nice that I finally kind of understand how to read this thing, at least. Okay, we are storing up a little bit of gold, which is nice. Second reservoir is on the way. Water is climbing now, by the way, even though it is red. It seems like we're producing enough. So two reservoirs will take this well offline and keep the same amount of workforce and everything. I think that should be okay. Uh, they got rid of everything. Nice. Excellent. So let's just go gather all again. This is a little far out for October, but let's just see if they can do it. Twelve laborers now just going to be out there. Still have three homeless, actually. I guess it's not good for winter. So let's let this building get built as well. Oh my god, look at the amount of... So we had way more stone than I thought. It was 50. Because I took them off the job. They obviously had some on their backs still that they had to distribute. Distribute. Yeah, we'll let two more of these get built. So hopefully that'll just house everybody. There are other houses, by the way. There's interim housing, which is like this big house where people don't procreate from that house, but it just stores up people like a lot. Up to 24 people. Um... Which I assume probably helps with lowering the amount of, like, 
water maybe and domestic fuel that people use because it's just one big house. I'm sure it uses a bit more, but probably overall less per person, I would assume. All right, they're getting the job done. Now that people have clothing, clothes and stuff, we're up to 89%. Shoes are making their way out to most people, <laughs> which is good to see. And that improves movement speed. So Clementine has died of old age. Well, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Two, uh, so did Jody, actually. Wow. I wonder how old they were. But what's old age in this game? Total population 72, 46 male, 26 female. Yikes, sausage fest. 95% fertility though. 47 people are fertile? Hmm. Okay, and then we're just gonna do a gather all closer and closer all the time. And then hopefully these trees will just start to kind of repopulate and, you know, do their thing over time. But this should keep us going for a little while. And then we'll get people back on the forestry hut as well. No candies, boo-hoo. I'm more concerned. I'm glad that water is coming out, but it's still I'm still worried about the fact that it says annual consumption is higher. It seems strange to me that says says that. Ah, here we go. So make water, put a second person in there, and we can take this offline. And see if that works out better for us. So that's two reservoirs now. Pumping away, basically. So instead of just 10, we're now making 40 while everyone's working on it for four people. So two people were making 10, now four people are making 40. Pretty damn good. Efficiency. Slightly, anyway. Do we have any more tech points? We do have another one. Hmm. Tempting to get that herbalist hut or something. Uh, and now that it's winter, yeah, we've pretty much cleared all of that. That's good. Let's get this last little bit then in here. Gather all. And then we'll put people back on the quarry, basically. And no one's ever been on the gathering hut out this way, so we can start putting people on that too. So, fuel-wise, or sorry, not just fuel, but timber-wise, we're up to 139, so it's climbed pretty good. So if we look at our consumption rate of fuel, annual consumption is 408, so what I'd like to do is tell them to put on a limit 408, so I would say a thousand is the limit. So make it until you make a thousand, and that's like two years in reserve. Yeah, it stays okay, that's cool, it's per good. Excellent. Okay, great. Yes, water is finally green. Excellent. Okay, good. Finally. So it's just food now is the last concern. Domestic fuel is green, water is green, so it's just food now. Which is a big concern, but it should be, shouldn't be too bad. An extra hunter, please. And let's then allow this building to be built. Some artisans from other places passed through the town and wanted to engage in collaborative learning with the locals. Everything here is so beautifully made. Your craftsmanship is very advanced. Can you show me your tools? Oh, we don't have any steel tools, so... <laughs> I'll have to say no. Sorry. Alright, we have seven people working that building now. Yeah, let's leave it. Why not? And this can go back online, so two people there. So that leaves us with no free laborers anymore. But that's okay. And then we want to reforest. So let's see, what can we take people off? Uh, maybe reduce down the amount of builders, just the three. Two people on reservoirs, that's okay. Fishing is coming up now. Clay. Yeah, reduce this down again. Okay, cool. So two people reforesting, please. Alright, hopefully that's good. I think so. I mean, we've kind of pulled ourselves out of it. It's just the food situation now is kind of dire. Obviously, this plant doesn't grow just yet. That's okay. I'm getting a lot more stone. It'd be nice to put down stone roads in a lot of these places, especially the, the longer, further out roads. It's funny, they tend to just walk this way and go over that. And they need some stone to be building that as well. Okay. So yeah, just these long, these long running roads, I think are important to get made them into stone. Okay. Yes, their stone reserves are going to be really low because of all that, but we do have seven people on it now, so we'll see how how it goes. 
Okay, so what's the situation? Four citizens have no tools. One citizen is homeless, so we can build again another home. Leave that online. Um, yeah, we could start making tools again. Let's turn this on. Ingrid is taking the job. And we still have a little bit of iron in, in the background. Not much, but we have our iron mine here we can get more people onto soon. And the yield from fields increases by 30% really soon, which is going to be great because we're in such dire need for it. In fact, I might min-max this just a little bit. Don't know if that's going to be a bad idea. We'll bring this down to 2. Put this on 5. Put this on 5. Should just get people planting a bit quicker. And then start mining again. So everyone's doing a little bit of something. And these will be all freed up. Yeah, you can actually see the trees are just coming back already. It does seem, though, you know, the more you devastate a region, the slower it takes to come back. Like, which obviously makes sense. It seems like there's a chance of, like, saplings to grow nearby other trees. It feels that way. Although sometimes they do grow out pretty out randomly out on their own. So this person is tracking for hunting. This person is tracking as well. I wonder how many cubs we have. And how many, how many people are without shoes? Don't know if there's a way to check that. So if I go to the population metric up here, we can see that shoes are at 16%. But that could also be the quality, not necessarily how many people don't have them. Um, so there's town statistics here. Health and happiness. Stock management. Let's just type uh, straw shoes. Current stock is zero. I guess until it's smaller number is higher priority. Citizens use prioritized items first. Oh, that's cool. If you have different types of shoes, you can tell them which ones to use. Yeah, no, none in reserves. They made 45 last year. So I'm guessing people still, a lot of people still just don't have them. So where do I see it? Shoes. He, he, the guy, look at that. What a guy. He's making the shoes and he doesn't even have them. What a guy. That's what it's all about. <laughs> do you? No. Okay, yeah, so yeah, okay. Still a little while to go on that. So, two injured citizens, one homeless, six without tools. We're making tools again now. And they make them in batches of six, actually, which is good. City stress is falling, so fertility should come up. We've got 19 kids, 13 coming of age soon. They come of age when they're 10, so currently we've got 13 students who are eight. And we're still getting a little bit of stone in the background, and we're building up the vegetable processing plant, okay? Good. I'll lower down the farmers once the, the whole thing gets planted. They don't get harvested then until much later in the year. And they'll become laborers anyway, but this way I get to like just take the stone masons and put them straight on that. I wonder... Um, oh, it's so cool. You can actually see the way they're growing. Um, yeah, what are the se uh, seeds do we have? Oat seeds. 100 days, 80 days, 15 per grid. Can be used for a brewery. Beans. 23 per grid. Oh my god. See, we could be growing things that are actually way better. Potentially. I don't know how filling these are, comparatively speaking, though. Peas and chickpeas. I think I'll grow that next year. Yeah, let's do that for sure. So next harvest, we'll try those. Seems to have a bigger yield than what we have. But I don't know, like, you think that chickpeas aren't as filling as, like, broccoli or something, I, I guess. Or squash. But you, you, I mean, you get more, though, so I'm assuming it's just that it's a quantity thing. Not necessarily a what-it-is thing. Agriculture. So, what do we have here? Let's have a read. Compost. Unlocks composting plant. Fertilizers need to make the dried manure, which is produced by the pasture, by pasture animals. Do we have pastures? Actually, no. Unlux Fodder Factory can process corn and beans into fodder, which is to feed animals, right? And an apiary. You'll need clay. Apiaries collect honey and beeswax. So what does honey do? Can they eat it? Can be processed into other foods. Okay. Can be used in the soap workshop and lighting factory. Hmm.
Yeah, let me just check again. So inside of agriculture, that gives you, also gives you access then to a grove later on. So the eco pasture, same function as pasture. Now, do I feel like I don't have a pasture, do I? Oh my god, I do. Can raise livestock. Herdsmen will slaughter the mature animals for food. I had no idea. Uh, yeah, let's go. Don't know how big they need to be, but maybe we could just make a few blocks here at the back. Maybe we'll do 8x8. Eight eight. Sixty-four timber. Wow. Okay, we'll just pause one here. That's nice. Trees are... I don't even notice it, but you just look around. It's like, oh, there's loads of trees everywhere again. That's great. It almost begs the question, what's the point of even planting them? I feel like they don't do it that quickly. Like, this guy's, like, planting. It's dedicated to planting, but... Yeah, I wonder. It'll be interesting to see if this comes back any faster than, like, this does. Considering two people are dedicated on, you know, bringing it back, basically, for us. And we still have all this left side to kind of gather as well now. In fact, now that this is basically planted, uh, we can reduce these numbers back down to three, I think. Put on another order for gathering all out this way. All right, cool. So that's going to be all the trees, all the mushrooms, everything. There is a gatherer's hut, though, here. So I want to steer clear of that. Let them keep the trees here to do their thing. They're getting clothes, carrying items. So last year, this year, they got oats, herbs, tomatoes, wild vegetables, mushrooms, onion, and peas. We're still waiting on a little bit of stone to come in to here. Which we should have pretty soon. All right, so homeless. One citizen is still homeless. This is the house we're waiting to get done. Nine citizens, no tools. The person making tools doesn't have any tools. <laughs> but they have the materials needed, right? Food is dangerous. Like, basic. we've just run out. <laughs> we obviously can harvest these fields, which should be something. Water is great. Look at that. We finally got loads of it. Yeah, just keep storing it up. And it seems the same for domestic fields. So I have solved two problems. We got clothing. We got water. Everything's good, but it's just the food now. So that's the next big thing. I'm hoping that if we get those veggie salads, we'll have a, a colony of vegans, basically. But um, they should be a little bit more satiated by it. If we could just prioritize this, please. You need to let go of the stone you're carrying, dude, and drop it off. Still making those shoes. Still zero in reserve. And you made 25 this year so far. Last year, 45. Okay. Could go drastic and... Well, it's not drastic, I guess, but uh, demolish this well, actually, and put something else in the center of town. Another storage pit, maybe. Although this isn't nearly filling up. It's 19%. Herbs, gold sand, turkey, domestic fuel feathers. So many things that I have no idea what we even do with them. And then we want to get trade up and running. Definitely for the next episode, we'll build a dock. Merchant ships will come by. It's actually one almost here. Goods that can be purchased. The workers transport the purchased or ordered items to warehouses. Construction material, 100. So from what I remember, it said something about trade. Where you can buy things using silver, but they only buy things using resource. They only trade. Important resource disasters, citizens. That's fine. Just looking for where it's going to talk about trade. Citizen status to survive. Nope. It's not going to be health, happiness, probably not. Citizen stress, town development, trading. Silver coins can be obtained by selling items in the trading post. Oh, so it can be. Oh, but this is a trading post, not the dock. You can also use silver coins or goods to trade with other factions. If the transaction reaches a certain amount of money, your reputation of the faction will increase. You can unlock more buildings and food recipes as you boost your reputation amongst those factions. In the port, you can either exchange goods with goods or with silver coins of equal worth. The icon on the timeline in the upper right corner tells you when the upcoming... Yeah. If there's an urgent need for designated items, you can also order specific ones with a much higher price. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like we maybe we should have that as a fallback for when we need certain things. So, small trading post. 
The transport selected items to the caravan in the trading post. Caravan will be dispatched to trade with factions periodically. We don't have the stone or iron ore for either of these things, but I think in the next episode I'll be building those. Uh, I probably should have had them way sooner. Just didn't require under know really how much of the raw material we were going to need so constantly. That's kind of my biggest bottleneck, is just running out. Look how much we got. Like, we just leveled this whole section of the map. It's still not nearly enough. I'm going to keep all these trees here for while... Uh, for when winter rolls around. We can get some of those. And our builders are out there. We have priorities on these buildings. I did tell them to make stone paths, but that should be a lower priority. Just waiting for them to drop off that stone. It seemed to take a really long time. We only need like seven or eight stone to get our veggie patch. Or sorry, vegetable processing plant. Look at this. Looking so thick. All the squash here. Ripeness. Oh, it's at 100%, so they're actually harvesting it now. Nice, good. So one person is starving. A citizen is homeless. Seven have no tools. Okay, it's not so bad. Speed up time. I'm hoping that this harvest now, if we just get going with it a bit quicker. In fact, we've actually got a lot of people not doing anything, so let's just get more people back on the farms. These farms can have 12 each, so I feel like five is still not even that much. just don't understand. Are they using the stone to build the paths first? If so, that's a mistake. I thought I have priorities on the buildings. Oh, that one's done. Nice. Finally. Cool. And then the house for the other guy who's just homeless. Just one person. Hear him. It's got shoes, tools, and rough clothes. You should be very happy. There we go. Food's kind of coming up now. Now that we're storing some. And then hopefully we can turn that, if we could just get this built, you know, <laughs> we could turn this into something that's more edible or it lasts a bit longer. I don't want people just eating it raw, but they're going to do that when we first drop it off, I think. 88%, we're so close. <laughs> and I'm really curious to see actually then as well, is it going to say like, what kind of recipes do we have to make the salads? Still no shoes in the inventory. I guess we're probably making as much as we are wearing them out. They are just straw shoes after all. We can make leather shoes in the future when we upgrade the knit knitting workshop. All right, we have a pasture. No animals are available, but now that we have one, I wonder, can we get them? Hunters hunt the nearest animals for meat, fat, and leather. But it says you can also get some cubs. There's a chance of getting like an animal cub. So I'm hoping, we don't need to have anyone on this, but I'm hoping that by doing that, we'll start to get someone in here. If not, I'll have a look in between episodes if maybe you just have to trade for them initially. I don't know. I'll have a little read around. So this is done. Reva is going to be our cook. What are you making? There we go. Uh, so, broccoli. Yes. Let's go. Well, you could just click this and we'll just make it out of anything we have. So, Honestly, let's just get everyone in there making these as quick as possible. Food will have to last. At least we solved the water crisis. That's good. We probably actually reduce down one person on water until that kind of balances out. Get another person on stone. Very excited to see our first bit of simple food coming up. There it is. You can actually toggle it so that's the one that shows. <laughs> Veggie salad. Limited output. I would say no limit. What was that message? I didn't even see it. September's arrived, clear. Reached school age and went to school for study. Cool. 22 kids, 2 laborers, 49 working adults at the moment. Alright, the numbers are climbing. We've had a total of 8 deaths. Still haven't reached 150. We did reach 50 and we got E for the max house uh, amount of people. So we've got no more homeless. Still lacking some tools. How's the iron situation? So we are crafting tools. We made 27 this year. Iron tools. Making iron ore still. Okay, good. Yeah, pretty happy about this. I think I my plan kind of worked, kind of recovered. And now as we get closer to winter, we'll start chopping all of these trees and use all of this. I'm just so low on timber again, I just can't get over it. Not even making planks right now. It's just all going into domestic fuel. But at least we have enough for all these houses. And then now that this has changed, are they... 
Yeah, it's winter. So now that everything's harvested, that's good. That's going to free up everyone to now, during the winter, harvest the rest of the trees. And I'm going to switch this to try something else. So we'll try chickpea, seeing as we get so much of it. And then peas. What is raw materials, by the way? Flax, are you? Okay. Nice, we got this road pretty much done. People are flying back and forth for getting that water. That's good. Look at all the water we've just stored up here. Just barrels of it, all out in the open, still watered. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Definitely not a problem. But at least they can go and get it and bring it to their houses if they need to. So this is a huge amount of water. Really love it. Finally solved something. And then firewood as well. And that's not counting what's in the houses, right? So people have what, have what they need. And the market guy is going to distribute that stuff too. Oh, wow, you can actually have quite a lot of vendors. I guess they are going to be busy bringing stuff to and from all the time. Good. All right, well, that's going to have to be it for this episode. So I think I kind of did something good. We'll see. Uh, you know, food is pretty low. We still have, like, some broccoli, some squash. Everything we harvest from vegetable patches is good, but hopefully we can actually refine that, make those salads, and satiate people a little longer, get some animals in the next episode. And have a look around at what other things were very, very, very close to reaching uh, a balanced effort, right? A balanced happiness tier, which lowers food consumption by 10%, because we're currently on a plus 10%. So that'd be nice, you know? That'd be really nice if we could hit that. Uh, and then we'll work on sanitation and logistical equipment, like bags and stuff. Because in here, we can make baskets. We have reeds. We could do it. It's just to try and get everyone their sewing, uh, their straw shoes. So maybe we'll put a second person in here and get knitting a bit quicker. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, these are daily episodes, and it is a sponsored series. So if you want to check out the game, please do consider checking those links in the description and the top comment. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.